Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that one will be fine and welcome back to this part number two. So as I explained that this video will help you to uh, count the total number of wish lists that a specific user have. So if I just try to log out and you see that I'm trying, I'm going to log in with the uh, aviation at the right gmail.com and I'm going to log in with that and this is going to take me the dashboard. So this this is going to be the separate ID and you see it's now selected because that is against the uh, the one user. Now let me go and log out that. You see here we have only one favorite and if I just going to log out from here and I'm going to create a new user. Let me register that and let's give it here John. So John Doe and John at the rate gmail.com and the password should be 123456 and if I just try to register that and next, uh, actually, I need to log in that here. All right, so let me go to the login page, and I'm going to log in with the john at the rate gmail.com, and go. let's add the password here. And if I just try to log in, and you see now they are not selected. So the purpose is that, that each specific user must save its own wish list. So I need to have a counter here, which I already created that, but we need to change that font to some other font, which is more suitable to be a wish list like a heart here. So let me go to the to the to my project, and I'm already running my server in. And if I go to my resources views, and let me go inside the layouts folder, inc, which means the include and nav.blade.php. So I created that as a separate component. And if you watch my very first video where I shown you that this is the whole project that I clone and this is going to help help you to um, this is going to really help you to create the authentication whenever, whenever you want. So I highly suggest that to watch that video as well. I, want, I also have the link in the description for this uh, code where you can easily generate that all. So here you see we have here a FA, FA dash bell. Now here I need uh, is the hot so FAS FA dash hot and as long as I just simply go and refresh this and you see now it's going to convert that to hot that's actually I need and here is the vacant space I already created that batch here so if I just write something like 12 and if I try to refresh this and you see now it's the counter actually which actually is not it's the uh, static which uh, will come up uh, now it will be generated with the help of Ajax and now whenever I just click on this favorite this count works and it's going to count as the counter depending on the favorites that we selected and if I just remove this this is going to less one right so that's what I'm going to do here so let's get started here now I need to do here is let's go inside the products.play.php file and I'm going to create a very basic function here so let me create a function so function with the name of total wish list so total wish list and uh, I'm going to create that as an Ajax request so dollar dot Ajax and this Ajax function must have the uh, three most common properties the type of the request should be, which should be get here next we have to give pass here the URL that is total underscore wish list and we have to do is to give pass here the success function right so success function and right inside that success function we are passing a response which is coming from the query that I have to write. So let's gonna do is uh, first I need to create the route with the name of total underscore wish list. So let's go inside our routes and uh, web.php and just right underneath that I'm gonna create here route call it get get request and let's pass here the route which is total underscore wish list and I'm going to grab this from here so it should be app slash HTTP this slash controller so let's going to paste it down here and the name of the method that I need is um, is the uh, it should be total wish list all right so we created that function uh, sorry that route and let's define that method inside our product controller so I'm going to go to my app HTTP controllers and the product controller. So right underneath that, I have to define your method with the name of public function total wish list. A very basic method. Now all we need is that we need to count that user ID and if that user is authenticated and just simply count that the same condition that almost we define 
right inside our model for the product. So if you go here inside the product.ph, it should be inside the wishlist.php. And you see we are actually counting where the user ID is uh, and the user is authenticated and if that product ID exists, right? So that's the very much similar trick that we need to apply here. All we need is dollar total underscore wishlist equals to wishlist where that user ID, user underscore ID, which is actually inside our wishlist table and that user is authenticated. So auth user dash ID and we need to simply count that, right? So just simply put here the count method. All right, so that's it. And next we have to define echo. Let's define JSON underscore encode to convert that into the JSON, right? So we have to pass here the variable, which is dollar total underscore wish list. And that's it, right? Now, so we need to pass that method. If I go to my products.play.php and that's the response, basically, basically this is going to count uh, count for us the total number of uh, product IDs that we have against the authenticated user. So let me define it dollar and I need to create here a class. Let's give it the name of do total underscore wish list dot text. And I need to simply pass here the response. All right, so just for the uh, one, per one more thing I need to do here is that response should be coming from the, uh, I need to convert that into the JSON dot parse to convert that uh, JSON into into the uh, JavaScript object. So I need to define a JSON dot parse, and let's pass that response in, and uh, and that's it, right? And uh, I need to define that total underscore wish list. That that is the class that I just define here. I need to define inside my nav dot play dot php, and that's where the badge is. So let's grab this and define this total underscore wish list class over here. And uh, this is not going to still work. We need to call that method, right? So we need to call that method as well as this method should be called once any action performed. Means that once we add that, that action needs to be performed. And whenever we are going to remove this, so still this method should be called, right? And that's all we need. Now, I need to test this out and see if that is work or not. So you see here right now the counter indicates that it's zero now as long as I click on the uh, very first one and this works. So if I just try to um, toggle, untoggle that and you see that now it's it's a zero. Now let's add one, two, and that's all we need. So if I just refresh this, still it's gonna remain two. Now it's gonna, without page refreshing, you see that we actually having the uh, counter, right? Just make this zoom a little bit, right? So it's one and now it's two. So let me log out that. Now remember this is the uh, two for that. And now I'm gonna log in with the other uh, user, which is Aviation, and let me log in with that user. And you see now it's showing us one against that. Now it should be one, two, and three. And let me refresh this. So still it's gonna remain three. So you see now we are able to uh, count the number of wish lists that a specific user, which is authenticated, it can he can see is on, um, you can see is re on real time that he's he selected those card as a wish list. You can use in the e-commerce project and wherever you want, and that will be really helpful if you bring up here a link to if if you click on this link, it's gonna bring you all the wish list that you selected. You can also do that, and if you recommend me to create a video for that, I'm gonna do this. So that's it, guys, and I hope you really love this video. You can learn and you can create that same specific functionality in your other projects, right? So thank you for watching, and I want to see you in the next projects.